Pele sits on a chair in front of the school photographer and waits for him to take his picture while he narrates that he would like to be someone important and extraordinary. He narrates that he feels like he is way too normal, and his life resembles that of an ant, which can be always found in its nest. The photographer captures a goofy picture of him and tells him to hop off so the next kid can sit on the chair. That next kid is no other than Amanda, who is Pele's love interest and the girl he can't take his eyes off. When the kids are back in the class, the teacher tells them their assignment is going to be about writing a short article on someone interesting from their environment. But one of the students, Ida, says there is not a single interesting person in this entire town. The teacher tells her she can write something about her father, who is the head of the Exofarm company, and she further adds that the kids should partner up and work in pairs. Pele looks at his crush and thinks she is signaling him to work with her on the assignment only to realize that Amanda is going to pair up with another friend of hers. While the kids walk out of the school, Pele notices two bullies picking on another kid, because he is a fan of comic books and he throws an apple at them, thinking he can hide. But the two bullies see him and hunt him down, making him run for dear life and hide behind some bushes. While the bullies look for him, a small ant climbs on Pele's leg inside his trousers and makes its way up to his neck where it finds the perfect spot to bite him. In effect, Pele starts feeling dizzy and he passes out on the ground. It's already night when Pele wakes up and he returns home. He lies to his parents by telling them he was out playing with a friend from school and adds that he is not feeling hungry tonight and prefers to go to sleep. But in the middle of the night, he wakes up and chews upon whatever candy he can get. The next day, he joins his parents to breakfast and things seem quite different since the carton of milk glues to his hands and he can't control his strength resulting in breaking the glass with his juice. When he goes to school, his gym teacher randomly challenges him in the middle of the gym. Pele's senses are hyperactive and proves to be much faster and stronger than his adult teacher, shoving him to the opposite end of the court. Wilhelm, the boy from Pele's class that was getting bullied earlier, follows him after school and asks him how he got his superpowers by trying to guess if he was struck by a lightning or bit by a radioactive spider. Pele has no idea himself and tells Wilhelm to leave him alone but Wilhelm tells him he could be a superhero just like the ones in the comic books and he could be featured in his own unique comic issue one day. Wilhelm pressures him further and tells him he is not going to expose him as a superhero if Pele tells him the truth, but Pele's attention wanders and focuses on a large man who is carrying some snacks. Eventually, Pele tells Wilhelm to leave him alone and walks away while we see the mysterious man walking into his house and staring at a picture of the CEO of Exofarm, hinting that he doesn't like him much. On the other hand, Pele returns home and role plays with his teddy bear like he is a superhero who is beating up the bad guys, but forgets he is very strong and punches through the walls of his house. The next day at school, he walks up to Wilhelm and tells him he was bit by an ant, making Wilhelm go crazy. After school is over, Wilhelm takes him back at his place and intends to make a proper superhero out of him. They watch a documentary about ants in order to discover what Pele's abilities are and what his weaknesses are. Since every superhero must have a weakness, Wilhelm creates a checklist and jots down which abilities Pele possesses and which not before going online and ordering a suitable costume for him. Right next, they go to an underground parking lot and wait for any potential crimes to take place while they chat trying to come up with a nice name for Pele. Wilhelm says his name should be something rough and easy like all the rest of the superheroes are named, and Pele asks if the name Ant-Man is taken. Wilhelm says yes and Pele tells him he is going to be Ant-Boy causing Wilhelm to back off and accept that name as a temporary solution. Pele wants to take a walk and buy some candy, but Wilhelm tells him to stay put just in case a crime happens, and he's going to get the candy for him. When Wilhelm leaves, a thug steals a lady's wallet and runs away with it. Pele reveals his suit under his normal clothing and runs after the thug, even though he is a bit intimidated by him when they come face to face. Although he is scared, Pele walks backwards and unintentionally climbs vertically onto the wall, making the thug look at him in terror. Pele jumps at him and the police soon joins the scene to take the thug away while Wilhelm comes back. Having missed all the action, Pele wants to show Wilhelm how he defeated the thief, but now his hands and legs are not gluing onto the wall. Wilhelm takes Pele back at his room, explaining his powers are not working because they need to be recharged, and to do so, Ant Boy has to eat products that are made with sugar, just like ants feed on sugar and get energy from it. A short montage shows that the two friends have created an entire operation and they regularly take action and help those in need, which has resulted in Ant Boy being quite popular. That same night, someone breaks into Amanda's house, definitely dressed like a villain, and kidnaps her. Ida, who is Amanda's sister, 
watches her being taken, but can do nothing more but collect Amanda's necklace that dropped on the floor. The next day, a girl is seemingly hanging from a roof, and Amboy runs to her aid, only to realize that he has been lured by Ida, who tells him he needs his help to find her sister because she got kidnapped. She shows Ampoy a video that the villain called Flea sent to her father, asking for $20 million and her father to resign from the company. Ampoy tells her he is going to help her, and Ida convinces him to go with him in his sidekick, which consequently leads to Ampoy taking Ida to Wilhelm's place. Wilhelm doesn't like the surprise, but Pele tells him they need to help Amanda. They try to figure out who might the Flea be, and Ida tells him her father has been developing an important project in his lab that has something to do with viruses. Although the kids realize that Ida's father has lots of potential rivals, Pele is able to pick up on Amanda's smell when Ida takes her necklace out of her pocket. Ampoy and the rest of the team follow Amanda's smell, which leads them straight to the house where Pele got bit by the ant. The kids speculate if the house is haunted or not, because the lady who used to live there has died and her death was a martyr one, because they only found her two years after she died and her body had rotten for good. Pele says that Ampoy is courageous enough to walk into that house, and he indeed breaks in it. He gets into the basement and navigates his way around until he finds Amanda trapped into a chamber that won't let their voices meet. Amanda seems like she is trying to warn him of something, and when Ampoy turns around, the flea is right there, scaring him and pushing him backwards so he can trap him into the chamber as well. Ampoy tells him to let Amanda go because she has done nothing to him, but the flea says her father has ruined his, and he is going to get his revenge. The flea tells his story and reveals he was a biochemist in Exofarm, and devised a serum that would cure many human illnesses. He used that serum to treat his mother's tumor, and her tumor got better, but suddenly, Amanda's father decided to end that project and fired him, resulting in the flea not being able to help his mother any further and watching her die. He also knows Pele's true identity, and tells him he was bit by an ant that was the last of its kind, one that he had used the serum on. He adds that Pele should reconsider who his friends are because everybody loves the ant boy and not Pele, and additionally tells him he is lucky he can feed on sugar because the flea has to feed on blood. The police comes to the kid's aid and the flea escapes. Pele's confidence is hurt and he wants to quit, but Wilhelm tells him he can't quit as long as the flea is on the loose. Pele does not change his mind, but he will soon meet the flea again when he attacks his school. Pele doesn't want to take part in it, but he will have to because Wilhelm tries to replace Ampoy, even though he is not cut for it and gets easily overpowered by the flea. Pele wears his suit and fights the flea for a while, until the latter realizes he can't defeat Ampoy and kidnaps Wilhelm to the woods. Ampoy follows after them and finds Wilhelm in a place where the flea is hidden, but his voice is heard telling Pele that sugar is not his only weakness, and he has one more, which is caring about some particular humans. The flea hits Ampoy and launches him away, while Wilhelm manages to escape at the same time. The two friends communicate through their incoms, and Ampoy says he is going to stand up to the flea, but he needs Wilhelm's help. Ampoy and the flea face each other, and they both need to gain some energy. However, Wilhelm sneaks behind the flea and disconnects the tube from his blood supply bottles. Pele and the flea run towards each other, but the flea has not enough energy to fight Ampoy, who punches him hard and defeats the villain. Eventually, the flea is arrested and everything returns to normal, including Pete, who now narrates that being extraordinary is great in some occasions, but he doesn't want to be like that all the time. He visits Amanda and she wants to kiss him, but Ampoy is only here to return her necklace and see Ida. Ida tells him she knows Ampoy is Pele and she will keep his secrets safe. In the end, true friends that care about who you truly are is the only thing that matters. Subscribe and hit that like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.